Hey everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and I'm coming to you today in true vlog style with my handheld. Um, I'm going to do a real quick video today on printing in Ableton Live. Now, I will be using the the uh, Ableton Live Lite, which came with the uh, Soundcraft Signature Series console. Um, I don't know how much different it is than the uh, the full featured Ableton Live um, I don't know if it's similar to uh, Avid's Pro Tools uh, first which is a very stripped down version of Pro Tools I tell a lot of people if you're thinking of getting Pro Tools and you are uh, using Pro Tools first don't use that as your barometer because they're, they're, it's really not a fair comparison so um, let's just go over real quick what you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need a Soundcraft console. You're going to need a computer, duh. Uh, I highly recommend a, uh, a monitor controller. So I go out, left and right master out of my Soundcraft console into the monitor controller and then out left and right to my monitors and then this is the volume control even a mute button I can turn my speakers on and off or the level that goes to the monitors and this is a passive mo uh, monitor controller so it doesn't affect the tone or the quality of the audio that goes into the monitors alright let's go dive in and uh, see if we can show how to make a print track uh, inside of Ableton so this is going to be a piggyback off of my previous um, how to how to use Ableton live uh, in the signature 22 console series uh, you know signature 22 series consoles all right here we go all right so here we are inside of Ableton live what we're going to do right now is we are going to drag a uh, audio clip from uh, the sample library there you go we'll just put that there Okay, so we got playback. We are going to go to our configure and then output configure. We want to make sure that uh, 21 and 22 is selected. Um, in this version of Ableton Live Lite, you, you can only have four input and output channels selected um, that's the limitation of the software that's fine for our purposes today that's more than enough so 21 and 22 is um, your output channel back into the board we also well, would like one and two selected then our input you're going to want to make sure and again this is limited to four you want to make sure that 23 and 24 is highlighted and how you do it is you just click on them when they're yellow that means they're active this is your print return back into the doll so this is important this is the the feature of the board uh, that allows you to print so you want these two tracks selected click OK all right so um, right here our out is going to be one and two we're going to select these on our console with USB return selected so on your Soundcraft console you want to have the USB return selected and um, in this for, for this case I'm going to have groups 1 and 2 selected on the channel strip so right now I'm going to turn on my video camera and record that real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about so channels one and two up top 
USB return right here those two buttons one USB return one and two they are depressed to activate them group one and two are pressed down I have my level set to zero I have groups one and two I have their volume set to zero with master so this is running back into the into the master output right here and then let's go back into the software we are going to create a new audio track and this is going to be our print track so again we are going out from our audio track to channel one and two and then on our input here we want to select our external in and we want it to be 2324 again this is the return into the console from whatever mixing you're doing on the console or our, this is the return into the doll from whatever mixing you're doing on the console it's called the print return and that's actually how I name it um, I'm going to turn the level off so that we don't create a, a, a cycle, an audio cycle. Um, let's see what we got. So you can see we got level going into there. All right. Let's extend this out a little bit. I'm not sure how to do it in... Uh, inside of Ableton Live duplicate so Apple D let's just make a couple of one two three four five six seven eight let's just make eight of them and yeah, that's a redundant one two three four five six seven I know that's redundant but it'll just give us a, a longer clip all right cool all right so we're good with our levels We can see right here that we are a little bit lower. Pull that down just a little bit. I don't want it to clip. All right, that looks good. So we're not getting any clipping anymore. I went a little too hot with it. Got to be careful of that. You do not want to clip this audio because you are going, when we print, we are returning back to the digital. Digital clipping is bad. Analog clipping is okay. Digital clipping will be a very nasty sound. All right, so let's print this. We already have our track arm for printing. So all we're going to have to do, or for recording, all we have to do is up here, hit the record button inside of Ableton Live, and it is going to print this audio onto this track, um, you know, uh, from the console. And I'm gonna move the fader so you can see we actually are printing from the console. So I just turned the level down. I'm going to turn the level up on just one channel. There's your left. I'm going to turn the level up on the right channel. So you can see we have true console control over this print track. We can actually record in console automation, whether it's uh, effects panning, uh, level of fades, um, EQing. If you want to do start out with a a, a wide a, 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 like a cut and then do a boost on certain sections of the song, you can automate all that in via this print track through uh, through you know uh, what you're doing on the console. So 
I hope that helped you guys out in understanding how to set up a print track in Ableton Live. Again, this is Ableton Live Lite. I don't know how much different this is from Ableton Live, but um, this is the version I have. It came with the console, so uh, there you go. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate. Email me, bbuck822 at gmail.com. You can obviously always leave a comment or question in the uh in the, in, the, in the section below this video, and um, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you very much, and have a good one. Bye-bye now.